guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. Let's create a composition quickly. Now take the ellipse tool and create a circle. Change the color you like. Also, adjust the stroke width. Align it to the center. Now click on this add button and add trim paths. Now set the end value 50 and the offset value 90. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe on start and end. Then change the end value 0.1 and start value 0. Go to almost 40 frames. Then change the start value 49.9 and end value 50. Now add offset paths. Then change the line join to round join. Adjust the amount according to your need. I think we should make this a little bit bigger. Now it's fine. Now select these keyframes and easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and change the curves something like that. Try to keep the influence value near about 70. Now alt click on this stopwatch icon and type this expression. L O O P O U T ping pong. Copy this expression because we need this several times. Now add the same expression at the end. Like this. Let's offset the start keyframes by 2 to 3 frames. Now it looks fine. This animation may seem a little bit fast to you, just because I fast forward this video. You can add fill, so you can change the colors later if you want. Now take the pen tool and draw a line like this. Bring this shape layer under our main layer. Let's go to the first frame and add a keyframe on rotation. Then go forward to 40 frames and add change its value to 180. Now easy ease the keyframes by pressing F9 and change the graph curves like the previous. Or you can just double click on this point and change the value you need. Just like this. You can change the butt cap to the round cap from here. Now add the same expression here also. So it matches with the circle. Perfect. 
Alright, let's create another circle like this. Align it to the center. Add trim paths on this. And change the end value to 50. Then just rotate it like the line we just did. But make sure you always place the center point in the middle, otherwise, you will face this problem. Now easy ease the keyframes, change the graph curves. and add an expression on the rotation, and that's it. Let's add some speed line on this to make it a little bit better. First, select this property, and press Ctrl plus G to make a group. Name it whatever you want. Now press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this group. Name it trail, or anything you like. Hide the offset paths and fill. Now if we just offset the start keyframe a little bit more, we can see the trail. I think we should decrease the stroke width a little bit. Click on this plus icon to add dash and gap. Adjust the value according to your need. You can add more speed lines just by duplicating this layer. Just adjust the scale value and it's ready for use. Using this expression you can do more creative stuff. So be creative and always try to think outside the box.